He's also the um, head of the uh, scholarship foundation here at the district. And then two other people that you've been introduced to before uh, that have been running around here uh, doing a lot of work behind the scenes, making sure everything is good. They've been working hard for several months, and that's our convention chairman, John Sacrius. And so many seconds. So once again, I want to thank everybody for attending uh, our convention this year. In 1922, there were a group of men that came together, and they had a vision. And part of that vision was their desire to help Greek immigrants assimilate into their new country. Their vision, dedication, and ability to overcome impossible obstacles allow us to be together this evening celebrating as one family. It now becomes our responsibility to carry their torch to the next generation. We have to pass along the traditions, customs, our religion, education, and every other value that defines us as an Ahepa family. There are many, many challenges ahead for us as we move forward in our quest. But if we continue to push forward with our beliefs, continuing to express our values, we will accomplish our goal. The future of the Ahepa family is in our hands. We must protect it, we must promote it, and we must always celebrate our Hellenic values. At this time, I want to introduce Sister Marina Paris, who is the District Governor of the Daughters of Penelope for Sisters District 2.
I'd like all of you to rise so we can say the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Well, you must see. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem of Greece. embodies 
of the benefit of society and our great nation of America. At this time, we beseech you to extend your hand from your holy dwelling place and bestow a blessing upon all those gathered here and their families and friends throughout the world. Most especially, we ask you to bless our leaders, inspire them, and guide their deliberations as they faithfully and diligently strive to do what is best for the noble organization of Ahepa as a whole, for its long-term welfare and prosperity. Grant them discernment, wisdom, and prudence as they exercise their fiduciary responsibilities to those whom they represent and to those who trust in their judgment and leadership. Bless them and keep them, O Lord, in your providential care. Lastly, we thank you, O Lord, for sending us our leaders who are willing and able to put their respective talents and gifts in the service of others for the common good. And we ask you to grant them also enlightenment, clarity, unity, harmony, and concord. As a faithful community below, we ask all these things in the name of the heavenly community of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ our God, bless the food and drink of these thy servants, and multiply the homes your servants throughout the world. For you are holy always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God bless you all. Than myself, and I look forward to it. There's nothing better than knowing a person real when they were really young, and I, I knew what I did when she was a child, and, and we worked together, and now she is the senator, the governor of our district. So congratulations again, what I did. I'm proud of you. Thank you again for coming, and hopefully we'll see you all in Orlando. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Sister Ferris. Next, I'd like to introduce the Ahepa District Governor, Costas Sofakidis. Now, Costa has been our District Governor this year. Costa has been our District Governor the year before. Costa has been our district governor the year before that. So when he asked to be our district governor again this year coming year, we all looked and said, maybe we'll let you take a year off. Anyway, brother Costa. Thank you very much. Some people, they ask, how I did it three years. The answer is very simple. If you are surrounded with great people like my wife and I have all these years and the daughters, the time goes by with no problem. I was really blessed to have my wife, the people this year, the year before that. And they feel really fantastic. They helped me a lot. We work as a team, and I mean that. The same thing with the daughters. We work with the daughters, with Marina and with Rich, uh, Dr. Penelope. We, we did things together. We try to do the best. And any time we have something to fix, we fix it. Because we did in a spirit of love for the fraternity. I remember one time on TV they said, how can you say a living again is that great? And I remember back, uh, I don't remember his name, he was a French uh, Zach or something. He said, you have to be in a good place, look around you, I mean it's a beautiful place. The organizer, the organizer, they did a very good job at the local shelter. He said the number has to be increased as far as the games and the medals of the place that's been taking place. So, 
this conventional gravy is one of the best, if it's not the best, that we have so far. We have more signs and more mates. We have an increase of membership of a in the state. We have the beautiful chapter from Tallahassee come this way as well. And hopefully, we're going to get more other chapters participating. So, a few words. This chapter did a very good job if you consider it. It took about three months ago. And I was able to do the beautiful job with all these numbers and all these beautiful people around us. So, I really thank you, Brother Gus. For your chapter and the ladies here, the, the local chapter there will be 186, if I'm not mistaken. You really did a great job and you have it all. I mean, everything is beautiful. And it's nothing more beautiful to see young ladies and young, uh, young sons and maids and, and everybody else to cooperate and work together. This is the bottom line. And, um, Myself is a bit more special this convention because I'm going to remember of my life. As I finish my term, my son became a son today. And uh, I really it's going to be a memorable time in my life. I'm never going to forget the award, I'm never going to forget the place here. So, what I'd like to do also, I'd like to thank you all. I want to thank Doris. I'd like to thank my lads that we work together. Working with you was a, a pleasure. Working with you it makes me a better person. Working with you makes me a better heaven to understand how to work with others. So I own your love of helping me to become a better person. And also I'd like to thank my wife also to put up with me. <laughs> So I got to for home, but I gotta stop right here because then I'm gonna have a better one. So I'd like to introduce my new lads, the, the new the new lads elected. And uh, can you please welcome our new district governor, Gaspar the Ladies. The new elected Lieutenant Governor, Mike Reyes. Treasurer Jim Six. And we are the uh, Secretary uh, Jerry Galovic. Our District um, Marshal Chris Capacos. Our uh, District Warden Homer Zabigaris. And our Son of Advisor of Sons. Eric Hill or the Latino Nimbus. Congratulations, I think I believe that you're going to do a very great job. You have the momentum. I think you're the right people for the right job, and I'm looking forward to see the helpers, the daughters, the maids, and the sons to grow more and more. So uh, I also like this opportunity also as well. Protect my Supreme Governor. Gus Pratz. He was there anytime I needed. And uh, he's a good guy. <laughs> Over oh, So, uh, can you please, uh, Brother Gus, we have a pin. I've been carrying for a long time for you. And this pin is a this government pin that carries a lot of history. And uh, I know you're going to carry it with the pipe.
a little plug here. From there I can put this too. And now uh, this stage is I have to reason one to be over the set of glass in Quaras. And the best recognition of your standing leadership, dedication, and commitment to our servers as Supreme Governor for the party and for the class. And uh, I never forget our ladies, our beautiful ladies. Uh, I've been doing it for the past three years, two years. I have a year basket for my sister Marina.
gave us a chapter of a year. Would you come up and get your prize? <laughs> You guys can't let me down, no. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much, Charlie. Congratulations to uh, all the winners. Uh, our next speaker uh, is an individual that's been a part of our uh, great community here in the Tampa Bay area for a long time. Uh, Every day he gets up and he puts his, his tie on and he goes to work and he fights for all of us. And it is indeed an honor for me to introduce to you Congressman Gus Villarreal. Gus, Gus. Partnership 
uh, Greece has in Cyprus with Israel. And great things are happening there. Great things are happening. Uh, you have 430,000 uh, tourists from Israel going to Greece. Uh, the, the oil exploration with Cyprus and the pipeline potentially going to Greece. Uh, it's, and, and I met with, uh, with uh, Bibi Netanyahu, uh, as you know. Uh, he, uh, he told me that uh, he's pushing for the pipeline to go to Greece and they're going to invest in, as much as they possibly can in Greece and Cyprus. So uh, it's a wonderful partnership. There's really only three, the only true democracies uh, in, in that region. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy that I played a small role in forming that uh, partnership. So, what can we do for Greece? And I don't want to speak too loud or, or too long uh, because, uh, you know, the fellow is Ascuraso, and I know there are other speakers as well. But the foreign investment is so very important. Uh, John Calamos' com uh, company is just invested in Greece. So, uh, that's what they need. They also need tourists. So, promote Greece. Uh, Really, it's, it's the most beautiful country uh, next to the United States. Uh, and then also it's a safe country to visit. So it's so important that we do that and make sure we get the word out. I haven't done such a wonderful job in Washington, D.C. Uh, with the lobby, uh, and particularly at the daughters of uh, Penelope, Penelope, because the women actually get things done, right? Amen. It's true. Thank you. You know, my guys, we want to make friends with everybody. Uh, and, and, you know, we have, again, such a wonderful reputation in the country, but we need to put pressure on our members of Congress to make sure that they back our Lada and our Kipo, because we're right on the issues. And Turkey has been such a bad actor lately. Don't you agree? The world, the world, is, the world is turning against Turkey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I can't give specifics, but I do know specifics. Uh, but I was in the Middle East not too long ago. And in Turkey, uh, according to, to some of these leaders over there, has, they don't trust them. They don't trust them. Uh, and, and, uh, and one particular leader told me Turkey was the enemy. Okay, so uh, we're right on the issues. Uh, we have to make sure there's so much potential in Cyprus, if we can get an agreement. But the Turks must remove the troops, 40,000 troops. That it will never, will never get an agreement. We shouldn't have an agreement if they don't remove those troops uh, off the island. So uh, there's a good opportunity. Uh, President Associates is doing an outstanding job, but you've got to have a partner. Uh, and what they will be meeting in Geneva very soon. And uh, Turkey, financially, if they think that uh, there's an incentive to make a deal, we're, we're acting, Cyprus is acting in good faith. There will be a deal. And I tell you what, Cyprus could be the crossroads. Uh, it really, I mean, it's got so much potential. Uh, and with, with Greece as its partner as well. So uh, again, Greece, a lot of that needs us now more than ever. So pl please do everything you possibly can. We have a duty and an obligation to support a lot of that Hebrew and more importantly our patriarchio, uh, our patriarch, uh, our Aya Sophia, uh, our, our seminary at Hopkins. So, you know, these issues are very close to my heart. Uh, of course, uh, you know, our veterans, because I'm vice chairman of the committee, are number one, and that's my top priority in the United States Congress. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, it really has, and it's an honor to represent you and the entire Greek community throughout the United States. Uh, and, you know, I kind of prepared for this job just growing up in Tarpon Springs and growing up in the church and learning the gloss. And we got to preserve our customs, our traditions, more importantly, our Christia and our Glossa. And I have does a fine job of that. So, so God, storm make a little bit together. Thank you very much. God bless you.
for your kind words, and most importantly, thank you for your uh, work every single day of fighting for us uh, here in the Tampa Bay area and all of our Halloween's across uh, the country. Bravo, Gus. This time I'd like to call up the Mates of Athena Grand President, Tria Charnas.
Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'd like to call up the uh, Supreme Secretary of the Sons of Pericles, Gregory Borlumas. Um, I finally got to meet Gregory face to face. Um, he didn't know that up until I think uh, earlier today, but I actually uh, met and learned a lot about Greg uh, earlier in this, this year in the fall. I was visiting my daughter up in Maryville College, which is a small college outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. And when I pulled into her dorm parking lot, I pull up into her parking space, and right next to me is this car with a HEPA stickers splattered all over it. And so I asked my daughter, I said, whose car? Yeah, right, Steve. I said, whose car is that? And she goes, oh, Dad. That's the Supreme Secretary of the Sons of Pericles. And evidently they've known each other since they were freshmen, so. <laughs> That's a funny story of the small group boys you always talked about. Uh, thanks, Brother Jim. Uh, good evening, everybody. Reverend Father James, Congressman Bill Arrakis, members of the dais, Grand Supreme Officers, brothers and sisters, I want to thank you for hosting me. I've had such a wonderful time here at the District 2 Convention. Uh, I want to continue with the theme of Oli Mazi, as you guys have coined in the uh, beautiful ad books. It's been a joy to see everyone work so hard together in a culmination of a great event here in District 2. Um, it's setting an example for other districts in the United States. It's set precedent. I think it's uh, one, of the, one of the best district conventions I've been a part of in my 10 years on the, uh, on the Lodge. As Brother Jim mentioned, I'm on the Supreme Lodge, and I've had the unique opportunity to have District 2 as my liaison for this year. So I got to watch it grow exponentially, as we talked about in the HEPA meetings, and as we talked about in insulation. Um, just from February 16 of last year, the District 2 Sons of Paris have grown by 500%, and we have over 60 members now, which is just incredible. So give a round of applause to the Sons of Paris. And all, all the work from the local district and from the grassroots effort, and that's where it starts. Um, it's really special that we have the opportunity to create a district lodge that hasn't been done in years on the Sons of Pericles. It's, it's, it's quite the feat that D2 has, 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 has done this, and um, it just shows how, how, um, how great they've been doing. Um, the Mesa Athena is Tria. Talked about it, it grown as well. I'm sure they're right behind them and, um, and creating a district lodge here too. Uh, I'd like to, to say, lastly, congratulations to the outgoing officers of the Supreme Grand Lodges and good luck and good tenure to the newly elected ones. Um, thank you so much for your time. Next, I'd like to call up the Daughters of Penelope Grand Governor for Zone 3, Kathy Papadimitropoulos. Oh. <laughs> Reverend Father, honorable ladies, honorable congressmen, distinguished guests, brothers and sisters. It's my pleasure to be here with you as you celebrate the Ayapa Family Citrus Convention. I bring you greetings from the Grand President, Jan Spanos, who could not be here in attendance this evening. I hail from Denver, Colorado, District 17, Athena 10 Chapter. This year, I have the distinct honor of serving you as your Grand Liaison. It was a pleasure to work with District Governor Marina and Supreme Brother uh, Governor Brother Gus and their district lodges in trying to bring new heights of philanthropical achievements in education. Education, philanthropy, Hellenism, civic responsibility, family and individual excellence are important back in the day and they are very relevant today and especially in District 2. I came here and traveled with my grand sisters, my grand lodge sisters, which I need to mention, as you, as you mentioned before, is a grand president uh, of the maids, uh, Tria from Ohio, and grand maids advisor, Kathy Zotos from Indiana. And I'm very proud this morning to have been witness to the 15 new young women in the order of junior, in the junior order of the maids of Athena. I have a 97-year-old father 
father-in-law who once told me, once told me, um, that in order to move forward, you must honor the past. And in this district, you have five past grand presidents that continue to keep the legacy alive. At this time, I'd like to recognize them if they'd like to stand up. And I'm only going to call them by their first name so I don't butcher their last names. The first is Sister Callie. Calliope. Sister Callie. Callie. Sister Nikki. Sister Betty. Thank you. 
so much. Nina had a family emergency, but she is one of, she's so cherished and loved by each and every one of us. Um, and she's from Fort Lauderdale, Narcissus. Thank you, Elizabeth. That's what gives my awards for tonight. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce a, a young gentleman who, throughout our uh, convention this last couple of days, spoke with such energy and such fire. And I went home yesterday and I thought to myself, gee, uh, even tomorrow morning, if I wake up with just half of that fire, boy, am I really going to be in good shape? It is indeed an honor for me to introduce the Ahepa Supreme Governor for Region 2, Brother Gus Paris. Wow. Was this a great convention or not? Yes. Are you proud to be a heavens? Yes. Give me a big yes. yes. Are you proud to be daughters? Yes. Come on, you can do better than that. How about sons? We got any sons that'll say yes? Yes. Hey, there you go. How about maids? <laughs> and who said that a hammer was going to pot and it was nothing but a bunch of old folks sitting around drinking coffee, huh? Does that look like that here? You look around here, there's not too many white white haired guys, maybe me and Charlie and uh, maybe a couple of all heads, but but other than that, it's young people. And that's what we're doing here in Florida. We're making a hammer grow again and grow with young people who have vibrant ideas and are the future. I was so excited today when the sons did their presentation. That was wonderful. I mean, I, I, I said to myself, you know what? We, we've been talking about this, but somehow we couldn't get it done. And all of a sudden the sons walked in and did a presentation that blew your socks off. And that's the future of a habit. Let me tell you, you don't remember too many things in, in your life. You remember maybe the day you got married. Yeah, you, you really remember that. <laughs> and, you, and you remember when your kids were born. And you remember maybe when, when they got bat baptized. But there's some other occasions, and, and those are the occasions that sort of rank with that. For me, it was when I was elected Supreme Go Governor. It is a day that I will never forget. Why? Not because it was so significant to me personally, but it was because of the people that I would meet and the friends that I would make all over the country. And that's what I have by is. You say they're brothers and sisters. Well, we don't start out that way, my friends. We, we start out by just meeting a new guy from Ta Tallahassee and saying, oh, hi, how, how are you? And the next thing you know, you've got a friend. You've got a brother. You've got a guy like Costa Sopokides that I didn't know from Adam three years ago. And today we are really brothers, without doubt. That's a heba. That's the daughters. That's the sons. And that's the maids. And that's what we've got to bring, bring forward. My parents came, came from Greece, just like Gus's. In fact, we used to go buy bread at his parents' bakery. They came from Greece. They got on a boat, didn't know where, where they were going. I'm sure of that. My mother said she cried. She cried when she got off the train in Tampa, Florida, and saw a man hanging from a tree. She said, oh my God, I've come to a barbaric country. And so that's what, what the people that started I have over faced with. They didn't have nice plush places like this to start with. They had bakeries and restaurants and shoe places and, and all of that. 
But they knew one thing, and this is what my mother told me. You will never forget Greece, but we are now Americans, and you've got to be that. And when you go out, you've got to be the best American that you can be. And that's what I have a stands for. We are the best Americans that can be, without doubt. Why? Why? Because his mom, mom and dad, and his mom and dad, and his mom, mom and dad said to him, that's what you're going to be. And we're going to see that you get all of the support that we can give you. Let me tell you a little story. I went to the University of Florida. I didn't know, know, know much about the Seminoles. Uh, <laughs> we, we were just talking with Father. I'm trying to get his daughter to go to the University of Florida. But about the fourth year, and I was in a five-year program, I got tired of school. And I thought I was pretty smart. I had a job while I was going to school, and I was, I was making pretty good money, more than, more than I'd made on a paper route. And, and uh, I came home at Christmas time, and I announced, I'm not going back, Mom. I know all there is to know, and I can make a lot of money, so I'm not going back. She didn't say a word. Not a word. Came the day to go back. She came in my bedroom and she said, I got your bags back. <laughs> and they're on the porch. I don't know where you're going, but you're not staying here. I left. I don't know where the hell to go. What was I going to do? I didn't have a house. I didn't have anywhere to go. So I went back to school. If she hadn't done that, I wouldn't have graduated. I wouldn't be where I am today. Now that's what our parents did for her. And that was a widow that had no money, but knew, one, I had to be a good American, and two, I had to be educated. And the Greek population in the United States is the most educated group in America. Yeah, give us a hand for that one. And that's what a HAPA does. Education, we got it up there. And we do scholarships. <clears throat> over a million dollars a year. And we, and we have scholarship programs at every level. That's what Apple does. I'd like to thank the, the past uh, lodge of District 2 because we have had such a good relationship with, with uh, Brother Gus, Brother Costa, and Brother Gus. You know, we got we got all all does that huh? that must mean something, right? <laughs> when when Brother Gus calls me, he says, Hi Brother Gus, I say, Hey Brother Gus, this is Brother Gus. <laughs> and, and I hope you keep calling me. You know, don't don't give up now because you're the governor. <laughs> but I want to thank you all, all you guys, Mike, Mike Trimus and, and uh, Jim Sirks and all of you, all of you because you are the ones that are the backbone of District 2. And, and you know what? Greg said to me earlier, Florida is a crown jewel of a heaven. And, and you weren't wrong. And you weren't wrong, and they're going to be better. They're, they're going to be better, and we want you to come back and watch us grow. And not only... And not only the sons, but the maids. The maids have done well too, haven't they? Yes. And, and we're and we're proud of that. You know, when I a, a few years ago, I said, uh, hey, why, why don't we have any, you know, ten or fifteen maids chapters and sons chapters and all that? I said, oh no, no, that doesn't work. No, those young people forget them. Forget them. They they, they don't want to do that, right? They don't want to do that. And yet. Today, we formed the District Lodge of the Sons. And, and today, we had a bunch of maids that, become, that became new, new maids. Yes, Mary, thank you. And so, 
It is important. You have to be committed and you have to be really committed to carrying the flame forward. Not because it's just a good idea, and it, and it is a good idea, but it's because every single one of your mothers and fathers are sitting up there watching. And let's not let them down. Thank you. We are Dimitri and the Islander. If there's anything you want to dance to, let us know in advance. We'll play it for you. Mercedes? We have a request for a gun on the piano already.
office in the district to governor of Florida. Έχει ένα μέμπερ από το 1990s, εργάζομαι σκυρά, εργαζόμαστε μάλλον όλοι το ΑΚΕΠΑ μαζί σκυρά για να κρατήσουμε την ελληνικότητα και τα Hellenic values στην περιοχή μας. Είμαστε εδώ πέρα στο Clear Water, στο, στο, στο 84th Convention. Έχουμε πολύ καλή συμμετοχή και για το ΑΚΕΠΑ και για τα Dorers. Κάνουμε όλε τι διαδικασίε εκείνε που θα φροντίσουμε να κρατήσουμε την ελληνικότητα, να κρατήσουμε την ομογένεια μαζεμένη, δυνατή και να κοιτάξουμε πώ θα χτίσουμε την καινούργια γενιά βασισμένη σε αυτά που πήραμε από του Έλληνε, την ελευθερία, την πατρίδα, την οικογένεια, τη φιλανθρωπία και προπατώ στην ελληνικότητα. Είναι για μα σημαντικό στοιχείο ότι ειδικά η περιοχή τη του Tapos Springs, Clear War και Tamba είναι πολύ προσφυλή και πολύ βοηθητική σε αυτά τα προγράμματα και ευχόμαστε μαζί με τους υπόλοιπους Έλληνες της Φλόριδας κάτω στο Μαϊάμι και στις υπόλοιπες περιοχές να δείξουμε το δρόμο στη νέα γενιά ότι η πατρίδα και η Αμερική είναι στυλενωμένες σαν οφάλιος λόρος στο να κρατήσουμε και να διαδώσουμε το πνεύμα το ελληνικό που τυχαίνει να είναι και αμερικάνικο. Εμείς είμαστε διπλά ευτυχισμένοι γιατί είμαστε και Αμερικανοί και Έλληνες Ωραία. και μοιράζουμε τις ίδιες ιδέες ελευθερίας, δημοκρατίας, δικαιοσύνης και προόδου. Και πρέπει να είμαστε περήφανοι που είμαστε και Αμερικανοί αλλά που έχουμε το privilege να έχουμε ελληνική καταγωγή που μας δίνει ένα πλάσ στο πώ βλέπουμε τη ζωή και το μέλλον. Καλή διασκέδαση. Καλή διασκέδαση και join us, be an a happen in the door of the lobby.